much more in control of my life when have been home inside my apartment for the past five days straight and it has not been good for my mental health so today I took the courage to go out and also take Rio of course because I, I feel so bad he's been home and we are gonna go to the park I just picked up my pokeball and I just want to chill because lately I've been really overwhelmed y'all life has been overwhelming lately and last night i didn't get to sleep um kanina nakatulog na ako 7 a.m and it just makes me feel so not good i don't like it so i want to break this cycle by you know going out getting my ass out of bed in my apartment well actually I have not been just on bed you know I have been um, filming a lot of things <laughs> for work which I'm very grateful for I really need work we really need to work the next lights, turn left. but um, yeah I just haven't been balancing everything well lately so I just want to sit down at the park breathe it's a pretty good day today so i am stoked to go out with rio and yeah let's just chill breathe eat my pokeball and appreciate the nature i'm looking for a park that i could go to Ooh, this is actually pretty okay i think i might go that way i, I might just have to find a parking of course no parking near Bye. Wait, can I park here? Of course I can't. Anyway, see you at the park. Oh my god, it's really pretty today, y'all. I'm so excited. At the stop sign, turn left onto Ralston Street, then turn right onto I Riverside Drive. Don't know where I park. Mm. Oopsie. Yes, queen. Please let me have that parking. Okay. Oh my god, I'm so happy. Perfect spot. Then arrive at your destination. We're here. Damn. It's those purple flowers again. They're so pretty. Let's go, y'all. Today's going amazing. Oops. That guy thought this parking is free. Kasi ang liit ng sasakyan ko. So pag tinignan mo siya sa parking, parang empty slot to. Pero jokes on you. There's a car here. Sorry. Absolute shit the past five days was because wala na akong grocery guys. I was just too lazy to go out and do my groceries. So I basically did not have any proper meal the past five days. I mean I had food in my fridge and my in my pantry, so I just stretched that out. So I just did whatever I could with the food that I have in stash even if it means like eating sky flakes with peanut butter 
for dinner <laughs> just because I was lazy to go out and um, ah, ah, we are, we are. <laughs> and I realized that you know having cooking in my routine just makes me feel so much more productive and healthy and like more in control of my life you know because the past five days I haven't really cooked a meal like I said but most of all when I cook it's usually a me time for me it's very therapeutic for me it's relaxing and I feel like I am just so much more in control of my life when you know I do a meal for myself and actually enjoy it and have fun making it you know so um, yeah that's probably why the past few days I've been too overwhelmed and anxious because I just couldn't find the time to just relax and be in the moment do something grounding like cooking so um, we're gonna change that this week we're gonna do better this week it's okay Can I go home? next day y'all Rio and I had a little fun joyride top down moment here in my car just to you know enjoy the weather the summer breeze and I also took him again here to park <laughs> and now it's finally time to do our groceries so let's do that I first want to go to Whole Foods because I always it even on social media but I never got to go there and I have this specific type of milk that I want to buy and apparently sa Whole Foods lang siya available so let's see kung anong meron doon Oh my god guys they have what I'm looking for I hope masarap siya. If you guys didn't know, I like to switch or like go for clean or organic stuff as much as possible when it comes to my food and even sa mga household cleaning materials ko. Like for example, sa mga sabon, ganyan. Like ayoko gumagamit ng bleach kasi masyadong mga harsh yon, especially sa floor. And especially Mary na kong dog who spends most of his time on floor. So I want to keep the floor kind of like healthy for Rio and I don't want the floor to be in so much toxic chemicals. So ayun. And I'm glad na dito sa Whole Foods meron sila nung mga options na hinahanap ko sa internet. So just like this one, this Dr. Bronner's like Sal Suds by the Gradable Cleaner. It says here that this is you know, obviously it's concentrated, so pwede ko siyang i-dilute and matagal tong maglalas sa akin. And it says here, this is like all, all in one. This is for laundry, dishes, mopping, even fruits and vegetables, and carpets, glass, stainless steel, and all that. Pero I think I'm just gonna be using this for the floor, for Rio, kasi nga, ano lang siya, parang mild lang yung mga ingredients niya. 
and it's effective. Nakita ko din sa internet. I read I read about this and since sabi nila this is you know effective. <laughs> so I'm glad that I found this one here. And also yung hand soap ko then. I feel like I'm gonna get one of those. Yung Dr. Mayers. Mm, namimili pa ako ng amoy. And hindi ako 100% na parang switch up sa lahat ng mga gamit ko sa bahay, you know, na hindi hindi naman sila lahat organic or like with clean ingredients because I'm working on it, you know. I'm I'm not perfect yet and I, I do my research in a lot of things, but as much as possible, yun nga, I prefer to go for the cleaner options, you know. By clean, I meant no toxic chemicals as much as possible and simple ingredients. So, yeah. Guys, for the bread, I suggest getting this one if you like white bread. Because I don't like ano, yung parang mga wheat bread. I don't like those. So, gusto ko white bread. Pero most of the white bread, hindi maganda yung mga ingredients nila. Pero this one, bearable. So, if you have access to this, go get this one. Meron din ito sa Walmart actually. Pero, nandito naman ako. So, bibilin ko na. Grocery store na pupuntahan natin. Pagod na ako. Masyado akong nag-enjoy sa Whole Foods, guys. As in, medyo inigot ko talaga siya. Next time na pupunta ako dito, agahan ko. Hopefully, morning, hindi busy. Pero, ayun, gusto ko yung vibe dito, guys. Ang ganda niya. Ang ganda niyang type of grocery. Pero, hindi ko alam kung gusto ko bang pumunta sa Trader Joe's kasi pagod na nga ako. Or i-Walmart ko na lang. Actually, guys, munti ko na nga bilin lahat ng nasa listahan ko dyan sa Whole Foods. Pero, nagpigil ako kasi nga, mahal. Like, mahal yung iba. Medyo pricey. So, kailangan natin mag-Walmart. Pero, gusto ko bang pumunta ng Trader Joe's. Ang ipupunta ko lang naman sa Trader Joe's ay mga snacks na healthy options. Tapos, flowers. Pero, ayoko na. Pagod na ako. So, i-Walmart ko na lang. So, Walmart. Let me teach you how I make my fresh produce last longer, how I sort and portion my frozen goods, and some of my other grocery stuff. Because if you are like me, if you live alone, you are a single household, you don't have a whole family to feed, chances are you only just cook for yourself and you buy these regular portion groceries and you don't or you can't finish this in a week i personally can't finish these in a week also these so i like to do some things about them just so they last me longer and they don't go rotting in the fridge after three days so after you do your groceries, don't just shove your groceries in your fridge. Actually, take the time to portion them, clean them, and like, you know, preserve them while they're still very much fresh. So, iceberg lettuce. Wash them. Separate the leaves. This one, gotta go. Chop. Air dry for just a little bit once dry. Put them in a Ziploc bag, lined with a paper towel, and then put them in your crisper drawer. This is my first time doing iceberg lettuce, so this is kind of like experimental for me. I'll let you guys know if this method is effective. Bell pepper. Remove the sticker. Rinse. Slice. This is the cut shape that works best for me because I'm going to be using this on my pizza toast. And I could just chop it smaller if I'm going to use it on my sopas. And mince it eventually if I'm going to be using it on my burger patty. So grab a tray or any flat plate. Everything nice and flat. Freezer. Tray freeze. Once individually frozen, you can now bag them. Green onions. I don't want to wash them anymore because if I'm going to wash them, they will be limpy. And I assume it's clean because I bought it from a bag. It was bagged. Around this bunch is what I could finish in a week. So I like to soak the roots in water. 
Ayan, ganyan. So, I put a chopstick and then an elastic band around it so it stays upright. And then the rest, I'm gonna have to chop and freeze. So, to freeze them, I'm gonna be using my vacuum sealer. I'm gonna be using a vacuum sealer for this one to avoid freezer burn. Kasi very prone sa freezer burn yung mga gani ganitong maliliit na leafy frozen vegetables. So, with vacuum sealer, I could avoid freezer burn and it's gonna stay fresh longer. I have here my little vacuum sealer. If you want this, I'm gonna be linking the exact same from Amazon and then I'm gonna look for a good similar item from Lazada if you guys like. So this specific type of vacuum sealer that I have is very easy to use, very simple lang. So I'm just gonna put the opening to the chamber and then lock it and then hit back seal. Yay! Now we have the fresh ones and the frozen ones. I can use this one sa mga soup. And then this goes to the freezer. Now for the serrano peppers or long green peppers, I like to take my vacuum sealer bag Cut it to make small pouches for each pepper because I want to freeze each pepper because that's the portion I use whenever I cook. Bread! Okay. Mm. This is how much I can finish in a week. So the rest, I'm going to have to freeze. For the bread, I like to use the vac pulse option para light lang yung pagka-seal niya. Kumbaga, alalay lang sa pag-seal kapag vac pulse. Cute! Bread. Peppers. These are frozen now, so I can bag them. Remove air as much as you can. And then seal. Bell peppers. About my lime, celery, and carrots, they're here. In these airtight jars. Soak in water. Pinang sama ko ng celery and carrots kasi I, I cook and juice them together anyway. So, there you go. Also, my garlic, I like to peel all of them and put in an airtight jar like this one. This one's a recycled jar from an old Alfredo sauce. My tomatoes and onions stay in this cabinet where it's room temperature, dark, and dry. Chicken. This time, we're gonna have to use the moist option. On the vacuum sealer. There you go. Next, ground beef. Kind of portion it into four. Grab your paper. You can use a parchment paper if you have that, but I don't, so I'm just repurposing my air fryer liners to wrap my ground beef portions. They go to the bag. Repeat. Ground beef goes to the freezer. Guys, if you're still here with me in this part of the vlog, I really appreciate you a lot. And comment chickens and cow emojis. And I promise to shout you out in my next vlog. I really appreciate the people who kind of like, you know, stay with me through this type of videos where I teach you guys adulting things. And I hope you guys learn something from me because these are like the type of videos that i was looking for when i started to you know live alone hindi yung isa isa kong gino google yung mga ganitong mga bagay and i'm happy na you know this time i'm kind of like becoming the person i wish there was for me that time when i was starting to live alone and figure out things so yeah if you guys are living alone and kind of like me i hope that you get something from this video. Anyway, promise malapit na tayo matapos. Kailangan ko na lang i-juice yung cucumber, ginger, kind of like my detox juice. So, oops, that's where I'll end the vlog. So, stay with me through the juicing part. We're almost done. Cucumber, celery, carrots, lime, little bit of turmeric, cayenne,
turn to what's happening. Hey, Cheryl, which one of these is the chicken salad and which is the tuna salad? That's tuna salad. That's chicken salad. <laughs>